Oh. Whoa. Oh. Yo. Nice shot. MLG. Let's go. Dude, I told you this is the best game. Oh. oh. We're in the same room. Cool. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Play Duck Game. This is the most I can't explain this game without you playing it kind of game. Which is why I'm gonna try to explain this game. I think I speak for all my friends who I've played this game with in saying that this game is best experienced through playing it with people you can laugh and have a good time with. But what is this magical experience known as Duck Game? I like to think of it as a game that helps you vent your frustrations. But with ducks. And guns. Duck tape. <laughs> you did it! Uh-oh. How is Brendan alive? How is Brendan alive? Yo! What? <laughs> Brendan, what? 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 <laughs> what? Stop that. Stop what? Uh. Gun? Gun. Laser gun? Gun. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what is <Come> happening? <laughs> Duck Game is an action platformer game where the goal is to be the last man standing in each round. Each round counts as one point, with some exceptions. If you've achieved 10 points after a certain number of matches, you win. The number of points required to win can be altered if you so desired. This helps make Duck Game a special breed of troglodyte levels of stupid and excitingly intense. Yes, you could do some really impressive stuff with this game. or. You could just enjoy yourself and have fun with friends by laughing at the game. If you connect this with a GameCube controller, the giant green A button literally does nothing else but quack. <laughs> Duck Game isn't supposed to be held to the standards of what good game design is. Not saying the game doesn't control well. In fact, it controls a lot better than you think it would. The physics are easy to understand even in ragdoll form. It embraces the fact that this game isn't going to be something like Smash Bros or Street Fighter, and instead takes advantage of what resources it has. Humor. That was the most dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. No, nobody, nobody, step on them. Just go to the middle. Hold down. Oh wait, we can't. There's no. You can go there. Bro, what is happening Brennan right two. now? <laughs> Brennan, join them. <laughs> Yo, that was calculated. Always take it. <laughs> Who needs organization when you can have crack? Okay, I just want to make sure I heard that correctly. Mind. Oh my god! Oh, okay! No more! <laughs> oh, no. He did not just oh, do that! No. Let's try that again. Where's that gun? Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> Jerry! Oh. What? <laughs> he shot himself with a funny gun! <laughs> Adult Swim games really hit the nail on the head when designing this game's appeal. Not to mention the plethora of hats, mods, and other customizables provided for you. This game has a lot more to offer than meets the eye. My friends and I have slowly learned many of the stupid and interesting exploits, as well as some purposeful, bizarre inclusions. From Nets being able to crush other players to whatever this is, there's always something to learn. I like to describe this game as easy to understand, but it does have a high skill ceiling, for some reason. This game isn't designed around a group of characters in a roster, instead revolving around a plethora of weapons provided in each map. The player must rely less on familiarity and more on adapting to their given situation. Because trust me, you have to adapt in this game. Despite most of this game's appeal being based on multiplayer, the single player portion of the game is surprisingly well designed to help you improve your skills. And the option of creating and downloading maps provides you with elements that make this game feel virtually limitless. I do think that there is an inherent flaw with the fact that some aspects have to be achieved through mods and creating levels yourself, although I'd argue that not only is most of this stuff as easy as clicking a button on Steam, the creative liberty of creating your own maps is an optional part of the game that helps you achieve some of your most sadistic desires. The soundtrack is also something worth noting too. The 41 original compositions this game has to offer is a lot more than I expected, even after hours of playing this game with my friends. And they really do have some amazing gems in this soundtrack. The fun truly feels endless with Duck Game. Any criticisms I have with this game feel null, because that's the point. It's not actually a good game, but goddamn, it's a good game.
try it. He died doing what he loved. 